Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and hold on, not quite fully prepared here. Okay, so, uh, once again, just, uh, just to save me a lot of time and effort on making my blog post, I'm just gonna go ahead and record a video about this. Um, and for the music, I'm gonna have some of this play in the background. I actually play this during the start of my stream as well, but as, as I'm, as I'm in a bit of a hurry, I can't get too picky, so it's, this is going to be Weres, Al Della Des Leo Legendaries. So, French Dungeon, French Dungeon Synth. So, let me go ahead and uh, get that going. Okay, so, just wanted to intro the new team I came up with. Um, originally... Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and change the name again. This is what I had originally. So, this is gonna be the Turnip Crew. Um, I got this item recently. It was in the Soul Forge. I managed to craft it. Um, uh, Norbert's Turnip. Deal, deal X damage to an enemy boosted by Goblin Allies. Then create a mix of six green and red gems for each goblin ally. So, which basically means uh, it's going to create a mix of 24 green and red gems. <laughs> then um, with the boost ratio being times six. Times six. Uh, basically grand total of 24. It's going to be uh, 66 damage to an enemy. And, um, when it's all fully upgraded, you're going to get an extra turn, so. Oh, and, uh, yeah, that does include me. And then, the uh, uh, banner, maze banner, and, oops. So, screw that up. Retard! What the fuck? All the way down here again. And then, um, the class is going to be Thief. Um, if for no other reason, then when you're, when you're in the Thief class, you're classified as a Goblin as well. So, in one moment. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And so, for the rest of the Gobs, uh, Toad Squeezer... You have him on top, um, mainly, mainly for being impervious to all status effects except curse. Um, just dealing X damage, and if, if on some off chance that you're fighting a tower, then you're going to be dealing a five X damage, since he's at the, uh, he's at maximum uh, ascendancy. You get an extra turn, just like every other goblin. And then you either blow up four gems or you enchant everybody on your team. So. Uh, King Gob, you guys are probably pretty familiar with him. Um, a lot of my other builds have this guy. Just deals damage to all enemies, creates a mix of 14 green and browns. And extra turn. This is a new one. Or this is a new one for me. So. Uh, String Fiddler. Start the leaf storm at the beginning of the battle, and he can silence an enemy, and he blows up, blows up uh, seven gems of one of their mana colors. Now, as far as uh, one of their mana colors, I'm kind of speculating here, but if uh, if the uh, target has two colors, then it's gonna be a 50-50 split between them. If a uh, if an enemy has three colors then it's going to be a 33% chance between all three of those colors, of whichever uh, of whichever one of their colors gets exploded. So. Then, one other thing I totally forgot to bring up. Actually, I could probably just go over here instead. And the big thing on Thief, he starts with 50% mana, and he, uh, 
whenever you uh, get four or five uh, gem matches, you deal seven damage to the last guy. So. Hunter's Mark, a random enemy, and a uh, random four of a kind, four or five, excuse me. Uh, Hunter's Mark, meaning the affected target, takes double damage from skulls. This doesn't really matter much here. Uh, no, no. So yeah, I need, must put it here. Gain five gold every turn. And then this this can come in pretty handy right here. When one of your guys die, there's a 35% chance they're gonna put a bandit in its place. Stealthy is a big one. That means uh, they can't target you. And if and whenever I get this to level 70, dodge is definitely going to be next. And then, I, and then if on the even rarer chance that I get this uh, feat to 100, it's going to be Rising Shadows. Uh, let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and do a sample here. Give you an idea as to how it works. And then, and then for the battle itself, you're, uh, you're primarily you're going after uh, green, uh, greens or no, no, not green, yellows and browns. Excuse me. You're trying to get this guy filled up. So now that he's charged up. Pick a guy to hit, I'll probably go after her. And then, with all the red gems that came out, he's up. And we're back to square one. So, same thing, browns and yellows. up um, actually this is dead so let's go after him got a five match down here up so we'll go ahead and silence him and uh, for those who don't know when you're silenced that means um actually probably yeah, better put someone over here you can't uh you can't gain mana and you can't cast spells so it's one of the one of the best debuffs in this game so since he's silenced I ain't worried about him That's how it works. But um, just like in all my other goblin builds, the big goal with it is to keep my opponent from getting a turn. Especially when I'm about to, especially when I'm fighting groups like this that could probably completely annihilate you in one single turn. Take it a drink of uh, Arizona green tea. And turn up, up. Uh, 
pick a target. I'm not really sure who. Probably um, Possess King. He's the big threat. Up. Oh, also, in case I didn't mention it earlier, um, this group also summoned the Leaf Storm right at the start, so more green gems are going to be falling. And so he's gone, um, but... to get him taken out before he gets the spell off, which I did. With, um, also with this turnip, it'll also drain three mana from the guy on top. So, handy dandy. So, nab him. He's gone. after him I forgot what he had oh yeah yeah he needs to be shut down we are then but like but like I said what um when it comes to shrink fiddler Exploding gems of one of their mana colors. It's uh, chosen at random. So again, if your target has two colors, then it's going to be a 50-50 chance. And if he had three colors, then it's going to be a 33% chance on all three of those colors. Oh, the spell armor. There she goes. Dorden. That's a fanboy name right there. Three cursed gnomes. And a lance knight. Yeah. So, I'm out. Uh, but this team is primarily suited for, uh, for PvP. Uh, for PvE, probably not so much. So, so let me go ahead and um, I'm just going to pick one at random. I'll just pick Adina. Yeah, and I don't really see this working. These monsters here, it doesn't really matter much which ones you go after. him, shut him up, and my turn ups up. Oh. And yeah, there's a there's a certain order to this. Um, if everybody is up, 
you basically want to... The cast order is you start with him on the top, so... He gets rid of all... Uses up, uh... Since he uses red and blue, you want to cast him first, then the turn up. And then once he's gone, then you cast uh, Mushroom Mania since he brings out uh, greens and browns. Which, which, presu which presumably helps, hit, helps fill up the turn up. Well, looks like based on this, this actually is doable in PvE too. I figure this is gonna be one of those that are gonna be a roll knockdown drag out slobber knocker fight. But no, wasn't the case. Uh, but I'm just gonna do one more and then I'll go ahead and call it good. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and re-rack this. Again, in PvE, when you're doing explore runs, who you who you target doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, these these groups are basically up, they're they're arranged according to what kingdom they're in. They're it's more for aesthetics rather than one turn you know one turn annihilation like you see in PvP. So just just go after the one on the top. Okay, so now another thing I might have forgotten too is uh, this ability here. There's a 50-50 a chance either blowing up four gems or enchanting your group. Um, it can go either way, but it's a slight lean towards uh, enchanting your group. Then enchanting means you gain two mana every turn until, until you get your spell cast. this it seems but uh sometimes you'll see uh you'll see a gem with a star and a rainbow that's a wish gem um you cannot make matches with them but um you can you can explode them or you can destroy them and if you do i think um i think your entire group gets full mana i think that's how it works but the same could also be used against you as well like if your opponent can uh, explode gems or destroy them they can do they can use those wish gems too to give themselves full mana. Yellow Slayer. Okay. Um, well, that's gonna do it for me. Um, just I just wanted to go ahead and do a little demo on this new build I got. So, now I'm gonna set to getting this thing uploaded and processed and all that. And while that's going on, I'm gonna start working on my Final Fantasy 14 blog. So, but, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.